Today, let's fuel up by making our own running shoes at home. Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you are here today. So we all know that sometimes fuel can be a little bit on the expensive side depending on what it is you like to fuel up with. So someone pointed me to a great article by Savvy Mama Lifestyle and the link to the original recipe is gonna be down in the description where you can make your own watermelon flavored running chews at home in order to use as fuel. So I decided to get the ingredients. They were all very inexpensive, compiled them in my kitchen and try them out for myself. Let's head into the kitchen and give it a shot. To make the chews, you'll need the ingredients that you see here, some fresh seedless watermelon, some sugar, lemon juice, and packets of gelatin. Add your watermelon to a blender and hit blend until it is a nice liquid. Then you're going to take that liquid and you're going to put it in a saucepan on medium heat. After that, you're going to add your sugar and your lemon juice and whisk that on the medium heat until the sugar is dissolved. Then add your gelatin packets and whisk those until they are all dissolved as well. Next, you're going to take your liquid and add it to either a square glass dish or silicone mold if you have them. And as you can see, that's what I have done here. Then you're going to stick them in the refrigerator to chill for one hour. After they're chilled, then just pop them out of the mold or cut them into squares and put them into a sealed container. You can keep these in the refrigerator to use whenever you need them. And that's how it's done. And so here they are. These can be put into a container and put in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them. You can also freeze these and thaw them out if you would like to make a big batch and keep them for longer. Just make sure that you thaw them out for a little bit before you actually try using them. When you're ready to use them, just put them in a plastic bag and stick them in your pocket and then pop them in your mouth while you are out on the run. Now let's try one of these. Not a huge watermelony taste. It's not overly sweet or anything. So I know this isn't going to wreak havoc on my stomach or anything. The little flower shaped ones that I did in the silicone tray, I actually sprinkled a little bit of coarse sea salt in there before I poured the watermelon into the mold so that I could get a little hit of salt in there as well in order to help balance electrolytes. So all you have to do, just stick these in a bag, stick them in your pocket and use them as needed. And this is not probably going to solve all of your fueling problems, but it is a cheaper alternative and very easy to make. So this is something that is really easy to do, especially if you are trying to get more into making your own fuel, then this is a great place to get started. You can also try out lots of different flavors. I'm sure I can make this with different things like pears, peaches, I could add lime to it. So there's lots of different ways that you could flavor this once you figure out the actual formula of putting it together for the first time. So again, the link to that recipe is going to be down in the description if you would like to check it out for yourself. So what do you think? Is this something that you would try for yourself? And what is your favorite thing to fuel with on a long run? Why don't you let me know down in the comments below. While you're there, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. Just click that button and it keeps you up to date on all the running content I have coming out all the time. You could also give this video a big thumbs up. Both of those get me out to more runners just like you. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so glad you could join me. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. I will see you later.